So basically, I've been having a two week long mental breakdown and after lots of deleted videos, crying, overeating, overthinking, I am here to film another video in hopes that it goes well so I can finally post it and be a good YouTuber. <laughs> I'm just hoping that doing my makeup is gonna make me feel a little better. So yeah, I'm gonna explain my mental breakdown to you and what I'm doing to fix it and try to make myself look better than I feel. I have a bunch of acne that has came about because of all of the stress that I've been under and put myself under, so I'm just gonna make it worse by covering it up. <laughs> if you're wondering, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I love this one. So basically, <laughs> this mental breakdown started like two weeks ago after I put out my um, summer lookbook video. I worked so hard on that for like two weeks. Um, and then I was kind of like burnt out after, but I had so many video ideas and I was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to like go into this next month and film so many videos in the first week. And I had all these ideas and it was great and all of that. So when filming time finally came, I was, you know, doing my thing, filming, and then hating it really, really bad. And being like, why am I so bad at this? <laughs> and it was just my brain, you know, playing tricks on me making me feel like I wasn't doing a good job when I was. So three deleted videos later, I had no videos um, late on my uploading schedule. And that already stresses me out because I don't want to like let you guys down, you know? Um, and then something happened to me at work that I can't really talk about because it's confidential. I think still, I don't know. But that really set me back a whole lot and made me so freaking sad. Sad girl hours, big sad. I was with Zach all the time, sleeping over at his house, just like, <sighs> you know, crying. Uh. <laughs> so there's the video thing, and then what happened to me at work, so that created sad Raimi. And then on top of that, I'm in college. I'm doing online school. <laughs> so that doesn't really help. I have all these assignments to do. So I was just sitting there and I'm just, I, at the same time, I'm trying to be like, you know, it's okay. Like, they're not going to yell at you for not putting up a video on time. Like, everything's fine. Everything's all right. It was fine. But then I had like a tiny little breaking point. So I was just like, let me get my nails done. And I'm a person who loves to plan, like I do not like doing walk-ins, I'll always make an appointment. But I was like, Rami, live on the edge a little bit, you know? Um, just go get your freaking nails done. So, I walked in, it was kind of busy, um, it looked like they couldn't take me, but you know, like I'm a patient person. And then they were like, oh, we have someone, and um, I don't like to bash people, okay? Um, it was just like this young boy that was like my age, you know, he looked kind of nervous. Um, and I was just like, whatever, like, that's cool. Like, I love young artistic people. Like, you know, do my nails, have fun, do your thing. And I just wanted to get my acrylics off, okay? And get white nails. It turns out that he's, like, never done nails before, like, ever, apparently. And, like, all of his coworkers were, like, around him, like, don't do that, what are you doing? Like, stressing him out, you know? And the first thing he does is turn on the little spinny thing, you know? It goes, like, meow to, like, take off the acrylic. And he just takes off my pinky skin. And I said, ah. And he said, ah, I'm sorry. And I was like, that's okay, that's okay. And he did that to every one of my fingers, and I was just like... And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, why didn't you say something like, Duh. I am not like that. I am not confrontational. You can literally cut my arm off and I'll be like, mm. okay, that's fine. And I just felt like so bad for him because everybody was already being mean to him and he was stressed out. So I was just like, like, I felt like I was panicking, panicking, like having a panic attack or an anxiety attack. I don't know which one. Um, but I just felt like I couldn't breathe and that like, if anyone said anything to me, I was going to cry. Because I was just already having the worst day and getting my nails done was supposed to be like the therapeutic thing that was going to make me happy. Anyways, he just like missed all the steps and didn't do any of it right and 
didn't shave my nails down to make them even so when he put the gel on it was just like completely lumpy and he did like 15 coats so thick and lumpy and I was just like oh man like wow I am stressed out but I didn't say anything to him because he obviously he knew, knew that he wasn't doing a good job and I don't know I just feel for people sometimes I'm like you know this is probably your first time they're letting you work here and you know, you're trying to work your way up and you're trying to learn, so I was like, I guess I'm the person you're learning on. But yeah, I just told him, like, thank you so much, paid my $40, and went on my way. And I called my boyfriend and I was like, <laughs> I was like, my nails hurt so bad, because they really did, like, oh my god, they were burning from all, like, the little cuts that I had. Um, they're pretty good now. It was just like he like took off like the top layer of my skin on like a lot of my nails and I was like Because <laughs> you know like when you're already upset about a lot of things and then like that one little thing happens like your Belt loop gets stuck on like a drawer knob or like something falls on your foot and that's just like your breaking point That was my nails for me They're very uneven and super thick, but that is okay. Nothing we can't fix with lashes, or maybe not lashes, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I was talking about before I stopped, so I'm just gonna talk about what's on my mind. Social media is like so much to keep up with, especially when you're just not feeling your best mentally. Just the thought that I had to like post on Instagram and like tweet on Twitter and you know keep up with my stories, I was just so stressed out because I was like, what am, what am I even gonna post? I don't freaking know. I'm tired, I'm sad, like, ugh, but I don't want you guys to think that I'm abandoning you or something. So I'm just, it was just, ugh, a lot. It's hard to keep up with social media when you're just sad, you know? It's hard to do anything. I just felt like I was at that point where, like, anything that went wrong was just, like, the worst thing ever for me, and I just couldn't handle anything. But I was still trying to keep it together, you know, and just, like, keep getting my work done, but I always forget that you cannot pour from an empty cup so if you don't take care of yourself you really can't do anything else like you cannot you know keep going with your everyday things that you need to do if you're not taking care of yourself and I wasn't taking care of myself so I was just trying to do all these things and film videos and stuff but I just couldn't because I was just wallowing in my sadness and not doing anything about it there's so much more to my mental breakdown and like you know just why I was sad, but I don't have any like memory retention, so and I'm not good at talking about my feelings at all, so it's kind of hard to like talk about or remember at all. <laughs> but yeah, just know that I was just like <sighs> not in the bestest place. Bestest. I know bestest isn't a word, but we're innovators here. Plus, when you're stressed out and overwhelmed and like sad and whatnot. When you get acne, oh my gosh, on top of that, you're just like, oh, like it just feels like everything is going wrong and crumbling to pieces, and that's how I was. And so I don't, I'm talking like this is like so far in the past. It's literally like yesterday and all the days before. But you know, I've been getting so much better. Let me just talk about what I've been doing to like get better, you know? <laughs> I kept on trying to film and take Instagram pictures and like, you know, do all of these productive things. I just like couldn't do it and it was making me sad, like failing. So the first step that I did was take a me day, relax and stop trying to do stuff. Which is like a big problem for me because I just love to keep doing things and never stop because I don't want to get behind or be lazy or anything. But I had to do it. I had to do nothing for a whole entire day, and that's what I did. I turned my TV on for the first time in like a whole entire year. I watched my favorite TV channel ever, The Food Network. Um, I laid in bed, and I just cooked for myself and cuddled with my dog, and I was just taking this as a reset day. Like, okay, clearing all of my thoughts. I meditated, do good things for yourself. Um, just for like 10 minutes, you know, guided meditations that are like positive. You can find them on YouTube. Just sit there. It'll feel relaxing. I did intervals of 30 minutes without my phone, you know, just trying to be with myself. And reading my favorite self-help book that I keep reading over and over again because it's so freaking helpful, honestly. This book, You Are a Badass Every Day by Jen Sincero, is amazing. I have like all of these little 
sticky tab things on pages that I like to reread. How to keep your motivation strong, your vibe high, and your quest for transformation unstoppable. It's really motivating and just puts me in a better mood. It makes me feel like I can do anything. When you're sad, you usually just like to listen to sad people music and read sad people things. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just concealing away all of the sleep that I haven't gotten. Now, with step one complete, I went to step two. Which was slowing down to make a plan for the week and sort of for the month. I love to plan. It makes me feel so much better. I hate going into things like feeling like I have no idea what I'm going to do. Because I like to put so much pressure on myself to do things. So I made my goals smaller, tinier, less goals for the day, less goals for the week. Because the more goals I had that I wanted to achieve for the week or the day, the more things that I couldn't get done and the more sad that I was thinking that I just couldn't do things right. So I just made my goals and expectations for myself smaller which it then made me feel better so instead of like filming a video and editing it editing it in the same day and then doing my essay for class and then reading my self-help book all in one day i was like hold on hold on let me make that a little bit smaller let me just film and edit so that helped a lot you know what i mean just you know like lessening the load on yourself because like when you're starting to jump back into life again it's really freaking hard to go back to like the momentum that you were already at so you kind of got to slow it down um i forgot what step i was on but mystery step number I think it's important to remind yourself of all of the accomplishments you've made, big or small, you know, all the things that you've done and all the progress that you've made because it's really easy to just uh, forget all of that and think that you're not doing a good job at things. So don't forget to give yourself credit because when you don't give yourself credit, then you start feeling really bad and really sad and I don't want you guys to feel like that. Am I Dr. Seuss? Oh my god. But your feelings are valid. Don't forget that. But your brain can be tricky, can be a little old trickster. Like sometimes I look in the mirror and my brain is like, oh my god, you're so ugly. And I have to take a step back and I'm just like, you're a liar because I'm not ugly and I refuse to believe that. <laughs> I don't know why I talk sometimes. Sometimes I like start listening to what I'm saying and I'm just like, wow, she's crazy. Anyways, I'm not good at talking. On to step four. I hope that's what it is. So I guess I'll just give you guys some insights and advice. Also bronzing up my skin with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in Rich Amber. It's important to remember that the things that you do every day, the things that you repeat in your life that become your routine, become your reality. So if you're listening to sad music all the time, if you're um, gossiping about the same people, if you're... You know, whatever you're doing, that's just going to become your life. And I didn't want that to happen to me. So I just started incorporating new things into my routine and taking out old ones and habits and whatnot. Because I'm, I just really want to like live a good, happy life and not have to deal with the same problems that I see other people deal with. And it all starts with what you do. I have a little journal. It's really cute and celestial from Amazon. I'll link it in the description. Um, Zach gave it to me when we first met. Like, such a nice freaking gift. Like, what a thoughtful gift. I love him so much. And I have, like, a little manifestation page, like a law of attraction page, and I write down things as if I already have them, and I repeat it every single, th every single day. I have things in there like, I'm so grateful for my 100,000 subscribers. I'm so grateful for my clear skin. I'm so grateful that I live... A peaceful life. I'm so grateful that I have, um, you know, friends that care about me. Anything in the world that you want, anything that you want to attract to your life. Like I opened my notebook and I repeat it out loud every single day and that's just been such a positive part of my routine. I feel like I'm attracting something from the universe. <laughs> just good things towards your life and Instead of sitting in my bed scrolling on my phone for like a whole entire hour, I decided to like move two inches to my desk and start doing that. Or I'll just um, whip out this bad boy to any page and see what kind of advice it's gonna give me. And usually it's something that changes my day. So instead of listening to the same playlist 
all the time. I've replaced it with positive podcasts and TED Talks while I'm in the car because little things like that, like every single day you're in the car listening to the same, probably sad music if you're like me because I love sad music even though it subconsciously just like makes you want to cry. But um, yeah, just changing little things like that, like your playlist to a podcast or a TED Talk or something, it'll just really help motivate you and get you out of a funk and make you feel like you're doing something good for yourself because you are and it's just like those little things that matter also just a quick little mention of something social media is the devil something that i've done is unfollow bunches of accounts that are not serving me anymore and by that i mean i only follow accounts that inspire me good genuine friends people that i've never met that support me so much and they're just so sweet and positive mindset accounts and but mostly things that inspire me like fashion and makeup and things that like when i go on my social media instead of feeling seeing content that makes me feel like jealous or upset or just like Ugh. instead i can just see things that inspire me you know to make a new video to spice up my wardrobe a little bit your reality really does become um the content that you consume whether that's what you're watching on tv what you're watching on youtube what you see on your twitter and instagram timeline so once you take control of all those little things who can who's gonna check you no one because you're checking you but once you get rid of all those things that are no longer serving you you just have a good light-hearted inspiring space when you wake up in the morning in your room when you go on social media just remove things from your life that are no longer serving you cut off those friends it will only hurt for like a second they'll only be dramatic for a while and then you'll be living a better life let into your life the things that are gonna help you be happy step like five i don't really know i am switching up my surroundings. I'm gonna make some minor changes that won't really cost a lot of money just to make me feel inspired again and just being somewhere that makes me happy. I feel like changing things up is such a good way to get out of a rut. So I'm painting my whole entire room and I'm getting some new little decor touches that are gonna make me freaking happy. And I'll probably make a video about it, but just the thought of it just makes me feel so refreshed. Like I'm so excited to have new surroundings that are gonna make me feel even more unstoppable because that's what I need. I need to get out of sad town and get back onto the Raimi train to Raimi town where everything's all positive and happy. So I'm gonna do that. Also, I've been liking this um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's really freaking nice. It just... I think I'm just gonna use this Glossier Lip Gloss. So that is all I have for this video. I actually feel like relieved and refreshed after just talking about all of that. So moral of the story, if you can't afford therapy, you can kind of get the same results by filming yourself and just telling all your feelings to a camera. I'm, I'm literally kidding. Please do not take any medical advice from me. I am just 18 years old and don't really know what I'm talking about. Well, I do know what I'm talking about, but like, you know, I just say stuff. Just it was a joke what i'm what is what i'm saying you know it was a joke i love you guys so so much and i hope you guys are having a beautiful day and a beautiful week you know i love talking to you guys so you can always dm me don't forget to follow my socials in the description box only if you want it because this is a free country sort of i won't get into that i love you guys with my whole entire heart also happy pride month yay oh my gosh <laughs> it's pride month. thank you for listening and i'll see you guys in the next one